Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in another episode here on Nikos, guys. We are Prometheus. We're about to go and do the mission that is called Magmatic Extermination. Let's just take it from here. This guy. The Lagos unit needs all the help they can get holding this place together. Things haven't been running smoothly down there for them. They've been losing teams, equipment, and resources. So they're looking to outsource someone with a proven record. Because this one's gonna get wild. So, this is gonna be an issue. Clear area. I hope my benches inside will be okay. Jesus Christ. Only 40 damage. 25 up there. Uh, I meant to say 50 damage. Uh, okay. Let's see. Huh. Yeah. Good thing he didn't land it on the house. You know? The bed is affected. Everything gets affected. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, not enough stamina here. It's a mess up here, you'll have to excuse me. As you remember, I had the uh, glass roofs and the Dolazvira that I did. Not anymore. Uh, I put in the clay, the square, and I left this side in glass. It looks okay for my uh, base in here. So I had a few million storms since then, it's fine. So, uh, coming back at the missions. Mission. We gotta kill, if you look in here, drifters, lava, ashen drake, stonjo, whatever. And we gotta get into a mark zone in here and catch those funky fishes. Idea is you can catch them in here as well, but not all of them. I mean, there are some rare fishes i think it's the void trigger fish or the neander I, I don't know one of them you cannot find it in here so you really gotta get in here the best thing ever we're gonna take advantage of this trip and we're gonna mine some exotics that's why i did that scan so apparently we got something there i don't know if the radar picks up until here or not Whatever, we're gonna get in here and we're gonna make another scan. So, uh, let's see how am I doing with this exotics in here. Um, still have a way to go. I think I'm gonna put it in this and that's it. Anyway, uh, we got inside our ship. I've made another organic cleanser because one, it's so goddamn slow, it's embarrassing. You gotta drop all that shit. So we got a two by two base in here. We did beams because I don't want it to get destroyed. Wall floor, we got four of this because we're gonna need four because two organic cleanser and the electric water pump. This is all for the exotics, okay? Nothing else. Uh, the harvester, uh, the two tools, and the two cleansers up top, which I think I should grab like right now. Yeah, let's do that. Because it's kind of late. These guys weigh a ton. Okay, a ton. 
So, oh my god. That one it's oh no. I thought that one was filled up, but stupid. It's fine. It's fine. Got it. So let's grab these two boys. Uh, I don't have the tool to the tools to delete those wires. Uh, I guess they will not bother me that much. Okay. So in theory, we got everything we need to mine those red exotics. Uh, we will need that orbital exchange interface just to because I could grab in there one of those recall beacons and carry it with me hold the ship but then I will have still I will still have to have this just to bring down that pod to take the exact the red exotics into the space and uh I really don't want to... My inventory it's clogged as it is, so... No point in doing all that. Spears, whatever, arrows, bolts. The good news out of all of this is that we got a compound bow, which is gonna be better than ours. Once we put an attachment on it. Let me grab those arrows as well. Cold steel, flint and cave worm. Perfect. Now, I did close that door before we sleep for the night. So, um, in here, there's a cave. I don't need a base. For as long as we're gonna stay in here. For fishing in there, we're gonna need a fishing bench. Uh, I have in here a hut, one by one with a fishing bench on it. I think I'm gonna grab that on my way or at least the fishing bench and make my way in there. I could grab the fishing bench from here, but eh, no. I got in my inventory in here, 100 nails, 50 rope and 100 wood, enough to make 10 fishing traps. You see? Of course, you need 500 refined wood. That one is made with this. Instead of having five spaces, with the refined wood, I have a hundred wood on me and the carpentry bench. Two spaces occupied, nine, not five. Uh, I'll need some food. These guys are just to make a bridge where I'm doing the scan, not to stand on the ground because it's not funny being attacked. I got in here three modules. This guy is the guy in the caves with health regen, pneumonia, cave worms. The survival and the protection module. No speed modules this time. Not enough goddamn place in the inventory. Let me sleep for the night. Okay, done. Gotta take some foods out of here. If I have them, I didn't even check. I got these guys. This is the same stuff, isn't it? Like that one. It is. Good. This is the same stuff. Amazing. 75 stamina. This is a different stuff. We'll take this five. Of course, they'll finish. Uh, better to get this one. Because it's more balanced. And we're gonna take this one. For the health region. Because I don't have anything else. And I don't feel like cooking right now. We got the water, we got the oxygen, we got the sleeping thingy. So in there, I have in there, I mean in here. In here, I have a shack out of stone and that bench and a few traps. I'm interested in the bench, it's one spot. And I think I have four traps in there, so one, two, three, four. If I have the space, I'll grab the shack as well, if not, it is what it is. I think that's about it. The only thing that I'm missing is the exchange interface, which I'm gonna need in there just to recall the dropship with some beacons so that I can recall my dropship with all the majigis needed 
for mining exotics. I think that's about it. I don't think I need anything else. Got a few ramps for travels, traversal. Jesus Christ. Um, that's about it. So let's make our way in there. Buffs. Uh, okay, I'm missing this one. Let's make our way in there. And let's see what we can find basically. Uh, my first scan for exotics is gonna happen after what we pick up our base from there and the fishing bench because I want to have an idea of the general location of that tree with exotics, you know. See you guys in there. So, we made it to our first location in here. Apparently I have a fire here as well. And a bed. So, this... Is there something inside? No, perfect. Let's pick this one up. Um, if I grab the shack, I will not have enough space for anything else. Uh, I'm not interested. Well, actually. Uh, no, it didn't work. Okay. It doesn't register these fishes. Yeah, so they don't matter. Perfect. Actually, it did. Eight sunset rib jaw. So, let's see. Uh, if I put these guys one by one inside here, does it matter? I don't even know what kind of fishes they are. Good stuff. So we have already eight fishes. Let's um, go somewhere near the center. Usually you don't have exotics in this place in here, in this area. They are in here or in here. So I'm gonna make my way in here above that cavern, a uh, cave, and we're gonna make our scan in there. No point in making a scan in here. Huh? I found the cocoa. More interested in the seeds. So I dropped the seeds. Got two of them. Perfect. I'll be able to grow them by myself. Eh, we have found our first stone jaw. Let's try those cold arrows. Yeah, pretty good. Got one of, out of five. By the way, if on the way there uh, you find the ashen drakes, kill them because they are the most rare creature around here. Uh, the rest you can find them pretty easily, or they will find you. But the ashen drakes, they're really pain. Uh, last time I had to do scans, last time I did this mission uh, in here, and they spawned when I did the scan. So, I want this to be my first scan location, let's call it. So the scan is done. Apparently in here somewhere, or in here we got the exotics. That's nasty. There is no passage in there. Let's go... Jesus Christ. Ah... <sighs> Let's go this way, I presume. For the exotics first. Okay. So, I don't see those exotics here. That's the passage into the marshlands. That means they're down there somewhere. 
I think so. Well, we gotta pass through the other side. Okay. That looks like a pretty bad storm, even though the weather was green. So... I'm gonna hunker in this cave for the time being. Okay, so the storm is clearing up. I think we should make our way out of here. I didn't want to move too soon because I was lazy and I only made that ramps. Believe it or not. So yeah, so in my last playthrough around here with the big sister, my tree was up on this shelf I think, or further down. But it was up on one of the shelves. Yeah, exactly here it was. First time as well. Amazing. One sugar. So we got the water down there. Yeah, it's gonna be a trick until there, but it is what it is. Let's I see a stalker in there. I don't have to kill him, so if it doesn't become a problem, it's fine. It can live in there happily ever after. Let's put down our magic in here. Request workshop um, gadgets. I only need one of you. Come on. So that guy is gonna be a problem. You just give him something to think about. Okay. Now, first thing I wanna put down, it's uh, my extractor, of course. I don't have enough inventory space, what do you know? Well... Oh, I do now. Come on, baby, come on. I think that's another stalker in there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's put down the extractor first. Perfect. Uh, let's drop some stuff so that we can have enough space in here. Now, I would like to start like in it, you know? But let's see, we're starting here. Uh, okay. Reset. Yeah, that's another stalker in there. Come on.
That was pretty interesting. I mean, a lot of bullets wasted in here. I should have killed him before. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, I think I need my walls. These pigs, I think they're gonna become a problem soon enough. Of course, these bodies in here will attract wild animals. Gotta keep that one in mind. I don't think I calculated how much energy this one takes. That's stupid. So I have four wind turbines. Let's see. Uh, that's 7,000 power. 1,000. These guys are taking how much? Idle, idle, but how much? It doesn't say. Jesus Christ. Um, T4. thousand and a half. So I got 5,000. 6,000. I will not have enough power to run all of this. Shit. Should have grabbed one more windmill, but I didn't thought about it. Oh, it is what it is, stupid. Okay. I can run them without water. Of course, uh, the time Processing time is gonna be a lot longer, but it will still work. Not a lot. If you run them with water, they say it's reduced with 50%, but it's not true. Normally, one exotic, it's processed one minute. Uh, if you run it with water, it's gonna be 40 seconds. So. We got four seven thousand two idle perfect. Let's connect this magic already. No point in having it on idle. She says she should start working. Perfect. It's doing her job. 
Uh, I don't even know if I wanna put that. Uh, actually, you know what? I think this might work because with the new system, uh, I can come in here, say R, and put these guys. This is priority. This is priority. And I will leave uh, my water pump as a non priority. That means. I think I gotta sleep. Yeah, soon enough. Uh, that means that. The fire is not sitting too good in there. Uh, it will not pump at full power, but it's okay. Because these guys only take something like 100 water, something like that, 50 water. Uh, my pump produces like a thousand, so it's gonna be just cool. Already have our first exotic, by the sounds of it. Accessing this guy is a bitch. You wanna get in there somehow when it stopped, then take it. So see one minute. Okay, let's sleep for the night. Perfect. Um, let's go and grab the water basically we're gonna go with the power in there for example and we will be back with the water I'm thinking maybe I can put those traps in here and fish in here don't have to go to the other side you know that would be really nice of course I will be able to fish in here but I don't know if we're gonna catch the fish that we need in here. That's a totally different story. Good stuff. Let's see how the power looks. <sighs> yeah, those guys are not working, so it's fine. But when I would put something in there... Oh my god, this is so annoying. Take. So... Let's split them in two. Put in here free. Put in there free. Let's look at the power again. So, you see, only 500 out of a thousand. Nevertheless, these guys are still getting water, whether you know, because they only require 100, so 200 between the two of them. That water pump pushes what a thousand so if it works at 50 percent off because that's what i understand it's pushing up 500 enough for this guy so instead of having here one minute we're gonna have here 40 seconds right now check this out you may say it's not much but listen this guy will make in here hundreds of exotics okay each exotic is processed to, to, to be turned into two stabilized exotics. Good yield, I know, but it's going to take a lot of time. In the meantime, we should focus a little on our fishing situation in here. If I uh, don't get the fishes that I want out of here, Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in the other spot. Uh, okay. We're doing good with that wood. Let's grab those. Make more. You don't have to babysit these ones. They'll just get the f catch the fish. At some point, they're gonna get filled up. And that's all there is to it. I will wait. Oh well, it's a lot of time. Let's go and deposit these guys. Uh, come on. Only one? Two? Okay. Takes a lot of refined wood to make these guys. You are on my killing list. Oh, 
What is that? Another stalker. Jesus Christ. It's full of these guys in here. Didn't... It, it, it wasn't like this before, I swear. There were not so many here. Before. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Did they reload this guy? I did. Perfect. Oh, Guinness turning me. How? Where is that setting? That is not turning you. Um, off this one because I don't care about it. Disable deployable camera rotation. On. Perfect. Finally. So this guy. These guys will get fish. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, they will populate this list. From time to time. Remember you got in here like. What? Six spaces? Come here. Empty them. Throw everything out. That's about it. So. This is <laughs> okay. So they are in shelter, all of them. Nevertheless, Ashclan can be reduced through shelter encountered with the dehumidifier. No effing way. But you see, this is what you deal in here. Just so that you know why it's gonna take a goddamn millennia to do all this. So apparently we got one more Sunset Ribjaw, none of the others. I'm afraid we'll have to move in the other side, but I guess we're gonna see that. Well, this guy is gonna continue working here. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna have the fishes that we need nevertheless in here. So, somehow, I got a split between this side and this side. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of time for me to get in there. So, what I think that I will do is stay here until these exotics are done. Uh, we'll see what kind of fish we're gonna get and then move into the other side. Uh, not worried about the creature hunting, that's gonna go pretty fast. We're gonna meet them on the way. Basically what I'm gonna do in here. I'm gonna make sure I pick this guy up. Place it in here. Because I don't want it to be destroyed. Maybe I should have brought some walls and some spikes. That would have been nice, but it didn't happen. So I don't know how much it takes. Ah, two per minute. One, two, three, four, five. So 50, 100 minutes. So one hour and a half to get filled up. That means I can AFK for an hour and a half. Amazing. And that guy is going to get filled up. At the same time, I would like to keep my fishing traps empty. So, I don't know how that's going to work out. We have... We don't have much in here, but... I don't want to stay out in here because we got a bunch of storms. Instead, I would like to be... Inside. Because AFK, you know. No point in being here. Get a bunch of fish in here, but not the fish that we need. So, after those exotics will end, I think we're gonna make our way into the other side. Uh, of course, put everything in through it into the ship. Um, I don't know, leave it here because the exotics will be already in space. We don't need to bring that ship with us. So gonna be just fine and uh, move 
move into the other location to start fishing in there. We don't need the hut. We got a base in there. If I will have enough space to take this stone hut back home, it's gonna be pretty nice. But I think I wanna leave it in here. Because um, apparently this is a prime spot location for having a tree. So it can stay here. So guys, it's finally over with the extraction. Uh, already, this tree is dead. Turn on the light because not enough light in here. Already picked up the thingy from there. I wanted to pick up the fire, but gotta keep an empty inventory in here. Um, so harvest five hundred. 48. Let me open the calculator in here. So 548 divided by 2. That's 274 exotics. Unprocessed, okay? Divided by 2 because you extract 2 per minute. That's 137 minutes. Uh, so normally in 2 hour and a quarter you should be done. Remember that I stayed in here in stealth. Uh, my character died, of course. That guy stuck. So, yeah, not funny. I came back after one hour and a half. Anyway, that guy is getting filled in half an hour, but that's a totally different story. I had only 18 or 16 exotics inside. Ugh. Anyway, uh, two hour and a quarter. Now, in order to process this 500, whatever it was, 548, 548, divided by 2. In order to process this 274 exotics, you need, if you don't have the water, you need 274 minutes. Okay, so having two of these in here uh, was really amazing because I stood on top of them so I don't have to waste any time in here normally uh, processing time is double the extraction time but having these guys in here uh, was really good you know was really really good because now I can go uh, with my business I have 20 more in here take them sorry wrong button so 548 exotics just like that we got them i will not need this anymore uh wait let me pick these guys up uh that one is filled up with a bunch of fish traps already took out the water pump well i need this i think that one should be staying with me I finished my normal arrows, normal, flint arrows. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave these guys in here because for sure we will be here again. I will be here again, I don't know about you. Mining that tree because that one doesn't despawn, guess what? It will just um, automatically refill. So yeah, that's gonna be really nice. The shack will stay in here, no point in taking it with me. I don't need it where I'm going. It's gonna be just fine. Let's pick up those because if they disappear it's gonna be a little problem in here. I don't care about the fishing bench. These wires can stay in here like this. Next time I'm coming, I'm coming with, the, with everything I need basically. So it's gonna be just fine. Apparently I have Two more empty spaces. I need one for the coal and the fire, and one for this guy because this guy's. I want to take him back home. If I wouldn't have had these spaces free in here, I don't know. Maybe I would have left something behind, or yeah, destroy something, or left it behind. You know, because for example. 
carpentry bench. It's easy to do it back home. I don't need it, okay? Uh, fishing bench. I already have one at home. Don't need it. But like this, it's gonna be just amazing because I don't have to build another one of these. Uh, only issue is I might find exotics on the way, exotic plants. So I would like to have those exotics and those seeds. But check this out. I just have made place for one spot. So exotic plants go there. Um, seeds as well. Good. I think we can leave this place. Oh, an idiot. Amazing. Where are you going, mister? Nah, missed that one. How the hell? I don't know. Have some. It's gonna be enough for you. You're gonna die. It's okay. You may back my arms. Uh, I think you had one more arrow in you. Hmm, it's gone forever. And another one here-ish, somewhere. Doesn't really matter. I can make more at home. Good. So this stuff will stay here as it is. We're gonna make our way through the passage and into this place because how you can well see into the left side in this place we were able only to get sunset rib joe a bunch of them but didn't need a bunch of them needed only 25 it is what it is so we have to make our way into the other side just to have enough uh no ju just to find the fishes that we need so i'm gonna speed this up meet you guys into the other side These are the Ashen Drakes. Looking for this iguanas, lizard, whatever. Hmm, nothing interesting. So, this is the spot where we got a fish. It's beautiful. Uh, this is that cave. I was telling you about. Okay. Of course, my torch, lamp, whatever, how you want to call it, lantern, yep, is gone. It is what it is. Good stuff. That's the only thing I'm interested about at this point. A respawn point in here. Now, last time I fished in there, I don't know if you gotta be in there or not. Because, you see, that reads in here. So, next to that, nevertheless, I caught the fish I need in this part. So, I'm gonna put my traps in here. Good stuff. Time to do some hunting. So, we need lava broodling another stone jaw and 20 ashen drakes for the ashen drakes i think we're gonna get them um, on the way out or whatever they are in here if we don't find them i'm guessing we can go in here make a scan and they will pop up for us but let's see what we can find in here i need some food nevertheless so, one <laughs> strangely enough let's put it that way during this mission uh not a bunch of animals right? okay so if you visit this place with another occasion you get a lot more than the occasional red back nevertheless during this mission not a lot of goddamn activity okay i mean those guys are everywhere but that's about it. So, I'm gonna make my way in here. I think it's a possible flower location in there as well. And um, look for those uh, Ashen Ricks. No, oh, 
I found the exotic flower, which is just amazing. Unfortunately, these guys are not dropping fibers for me. Okay, so that's a little issue in there. Uh, I had to destroy some uh, bandages just to have some fibers, but it is what it is. Yeah, let's see. Uh, actually, can I make a ladder? I need some of this stuff. Will it be enough one for two of you? Yes, perfect. So I got the cocoa seeds. Perfect. I got the gore seeds. Perfect. We'll keep those on me. Maybe I'll need them. Let me just collect the radar from here. Yes, in here they might be able to reach me. But up here, I don't think they will be able to reach me. Kind of late in the evening, if you ask me. But it is what it is. Let's make a scan. And see what exactly are we going to have in here. Usually it's Ash and Drake's. Everything we need to hunt, basically. So, Ashen Tricks, Lava Broodling, Stone Jaws, The Occasional Stalker. We'll see. I'm gonna make as many scans as it takes. Look, that is one. Ashen Drick. I think it will need two arrows to die. Don't care so much about that Drake. Okay, that guy is dead. This guy is dying. Not fast enough, apparently. So, the scan is over. We only had two Ashen Drakes. Oh! Make that free. Uh, got two Drakes in here. Four Ashen Drakes. Amazing. I gotta kill 20. Good stuff. Uh, let me kill this idiot in here. Oops. Where's my leather? Did they destroy the leather? They did. Amazing. Take the other one. Because I want to get my uh, arrows back. And I want to get some meat. Because I will need it. Have a lot of needs. Lately. Apparently the fishing goes pretty well. We have 9 void trigger fish. 6 coral and four neons so that spot in there is just amazing for fishing must not forget that it's getting pretty late so yeah oh okay uh, it doesn't work with another skin in here gotta move well let's get i don't know in here or in there. Yeah, something like that. Make another scan in there. Since it's so dark, I decided to get back to the base. Base. Cave. Sleep in there. And uh, continue tomorrow morning. I thought we were not supposed to have bees and worms at the same time in a cave. Apparently, I was mistaken. <laughs> Good stuff. Let's see what we're gonna have this time here. Maybe we're gonna get lucky. I think the last time I did um, up there in the north the scan with 
uh, the other kind of radar, the yellow one, you know? So what we are actually interested in here is the Ashen Drakes. Nothing else. I hope they'll come in here. In this spot. And apparently they're not coming. Amazing. I hear some lava broodling, but I think they are down there in the lava. I don't know what they are. Oh my god, that's so ugly. Stone job. Let me hit you. I'll take advantage of your pain. I guess we need to kill one more. That's why. Okay, the stone jaw is down. Uh, 14 Ashen Drakes. Now that's gonna be an issue. Especially with this radar. Okay, let's see if we're gonna get lucky in here or not. I am in here. As far as I know, there's a possible flower location in there as well. So. Gonna go and check that one out. The red backs are getting aggressive. Amazing. Now that's something interesting. They didn't expect that one. Uh, okay. I guess I have to wake my make my way back in here now. So apparently, no uh, luck with the drakes in here. I think I will have to move out into the northern area. Nevertheless. I would really, really like to have, um, what should I call it? All the fish is caught before I move in there. Come on, buddy. So, is there a flower in here? Yes, it is. Perfect. Good stuff. I'll be able to grow more exotics back at home. Uh, some other possible locations are down here, but I ain't gonna go in there. No, thank you. We'll move out to where the fishes are. Uh, wait in there until they are cut. And then we'll make my way up north in uh, this area where the ashen drakes are i think there is a cave in there somewhere i don't remember where i think there is yeah and uh, gonna put my spawn point in there oh we'll wait for some ashen drakes to come to us Oh, this is nice. Does that mean that this guy will not attack me? No. <laughs> Does that mean that my tree is gone from there? No, but it means that I can do another scan, which is just amazing. So that's exactly what I am going to do. I'm going to get up on that rock again. And do another scan, hoping that I will get more Ashen Drakes. Only four. Oh no, five. Five of them. That was very good. Yep, no others. So 
So apparently our tree moved in here, I think. Well, that leaves me with six Ashen Drakes to kill. Good. And we got it, the last one. Got a hundred red exotics, what do you know? And this mission is over. This is one of the longest missions that you can have in here. I've made it even worse by mining the exotics. So I started the recording at 9.30. It's 16.25. <laughs> and it's gonna take uh, some time before I get back to the base. Let's just put it like that. Yeah, so um, I've been open with Icarus in here for six hours. Uh, one hour I was AFK. So five hours took all the scrap in here. <laughs> Nevertheless, I got my 500 something with exotics. Plus right now I got another 100 after finishing the mission. And guess what? We can check this mission on the list. It's done. Into the next one. Maybe we'll take care of another mission. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. No promises in here. Guys, uh, I'll just make my way back to the base right now. If I can find a nice, easy way around here. I hope I will. I'll catch you guys into the next one. Thank you so much for being here, for watching this. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps. If you want to help me on my road of becoming a full-time content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourself some membership. So, yeah. Thank you very much for being here. I'll see you to the next one. Take care of you. Bye now.